Dylan Branson works as an air traffic controller at John F. Kennedy International Airport. He possesses the ability to visualize constellations and patterns. And though he has a pilot's license, he has a fear of flying. He has a recurring dream of a shooting occurring at Grand Central Terminal at 2.22 p.m. At work, Dylan begins hallucinating at 2.22 p.m. Only able to break out from his fugue state just in time to prevent a collision between two planes. Following this, he is suspended from work. Pending a full board review, Dylan begins to realize that the same things happen to him at the same time every day. And by 2.21 he somehow arrives at Grand Central Terminal. Where, although not the same individuals, he always sees the same type of people. A businessman reading a newspaper. An older couple embracing. A party of school children. And a pregnant woman standing alone under the clock. At exactly 2.22 p.m. An electrical malfunction causes the station glass to shatter. At an aerial ballet. Dylan meets Sarah who works at an art gallery with her ex-boyfriend Jonas and was a passenger on one of the nearly collided planes. Dylan and Sarah have the same birth date and feel connected to each other. Falling in love. One evening, Dylan attends Sarah's gallery to see an exhibition of Jonas's work. A holographic depiction of New York which includes the interior of Grand Central. Dylan is shocked that the holograph depicts the same events he saw in his recurring dream. He accuses Jonas of following him to create the hologram, leading to a fight, ending with Sarah asking Dylan to leave. Dylan learns through Sarah's colleague the story of a singer, Evelyn Mills, who was killed by her lover at Grand Central Terminal 30 years ago in 1986. The lover also shot a policeman before he was killed. Dylan finds a packet of old letters hidden in his apartment, which reveal that a man called Jake Redmond once lived there. The letters are love letters to Jake from Evelyn. Dylan tracks down Catherine, Evelyn's sister. She tells him how Evelyn fell deeply in love with Jake, who shared her birthday. A detective visited Evelyn to warn her that Jake was a criminal but she refused to believe him. And he too was killed by Jake at Grand Central Terminal. Catherine thinks the detective, Noah Marks, was also in love with Evelyn. She gives Dylan Evelyn's own letters to Jake. Dylan believes the supernova which occurred on the day of Jake and Evelyn's deaths 30 years ago. The same day he and Sarah were born. And is now happening again created a cosmic cataclysm so he and Sarah are destined to relive Jake and Evelyn's fates. When Sarah visits, she disbelieves his theory but Dylan is convinced that if they stay together, he will kill her on the anniversary of the Grand Central murders. A distressed Sarah confides in Jonas and asks why he chose Grand Central Station. Jonas persuades her to go to Millhurst with him for a while. Dylan contemplates suicide, but stops when he sees a plane. On his 30th birthday, Dylan discovers that the same patterns he had experienced occurred to Jake on the day he died. He breaks into Jonas's studio, where he finds dozens of depictions of Sarah, a necklace identical to Evelyn's, and an empty gun case. Realizing that Jonas is obsessed with Sarah and planning to relive the Grand Central Terminal. Murders as Noah Marks. Dylan rushes back to the terminal. The police pursue him when he stands on a cop car to get there. After their flight is cancelled. Jonas buys tickets at Grand Central. Where Sarah begins to see the same characters that Dylan described. It dawns on her that she is the pregnant woman under the clock and she refuses to leave with Jonas. In a jealous rage, Jonas calls her Evelyn, and Sarah realizes that they are reliving the same fateful day. Dylan arrives and Jonas pulls a gun, first aiming at Dylan but fires at Sarah. 
Dylan shields Sarah from the bullet, taking the hit himself and saving her life. Jonas is then shot and killed by the arriving police officers. It transpires that Jake and Evelyn, who was herself pregnant, were shot by Noah, who was in love with her. Jake killed Noah while trying to protect himself and Evelyn, and was framed by the police. In the end, Dylan has recovered and now works as a pilot. He and Sarah live happily together with their baby.